็ได้ไอ้สิปังสอปลาเก๋แก้วอืมแล้วมันก็ดูดวอลยัดอนอ่ะบิวติฟุลสปริงเดย์21 22ดีกรีส Beautiful day. Lizards are out. Unfortunately, the snakes have come out. Um, I've got some bad news about Roy. Well, sort of good news, but bad news. He got bitten by a brown snake. And poor little Roy, we had to rush him to the vet. And it was a super, super sad day. We managed to get him there and barely, barely, barely survived. By the time we got there, he was pretty much half dead in the back seat, so it was a super bad day. And then we had to watch him while he struggled for the next few hours and just made it. Um, anyway, enough of the sad stuff. Let's get to the actual trees. Did you slip on something? Oh, you got a jab. So Leo's doing all right. Roy, he's locked inside because he's chasing snakes around. Um, Leo has got a bit of a limp, I don't know why. You get a jack. You are? Good boy. Yeah, I hate it when something happens to our babies. Super scary. Hopefully everything comes in threes. We had Leo with his stitches, me with my stitches and my cut on my hand, and now Roy with a snake bite, and hopefully that's it. Three things have happened. Let's hope that's it. We're all done. Anyway. Point of today's video, and if someone hasn't watched your channel before, they'll be like, what the hell is this bloke on about? Point of today's video is all about the trees, and we got three trees here, plus the fourth one, which are all going to be on the show, Adelaide Bonsai Show. If you want to know the dates for that show, it's the 15th and 16th of this month, so only in about four or five days' time. Four days' time, we're going to take trees down there. Get them set up on display. So the point of today's video, one is to show you guys which ones made the cut. So these ones and the Malaluka in a Mali style. I'll put that up as well because I've got some leftover footage. So I'll do a spin of that one as well. And I'll show you guys these ones and we'll set up a bit of a display for each one and just see how we go. Um, I've done a little bit of thinking and some welding and different things, just try to make some interesting displays rather than the old stock standard table on a table with a tree on top. I thought I'd do something a bit different, mix it up, you know. You know, we're not bloody Japanese, so why should we display like the bloody Japanese, mate? <laughs> nah, <laughs> they got the best bonsai in the world, so, you know, can't dispute that. <laughs> right, uh, let's, okay, let's. Just talk about each one. Obviously, there's not an olive here. Um, unfortunately for me, my olives didn't make the cut. Now, pretty well the main reason is South Australia has so many olives that they want variety in the show and they pick some trees that I've got that other people don't really have too much. So, um, that is why none of my olives got in. And yeah, basically there's an oversupply of olives in South Australia, so they try not to choose too many olives, otherwise the whole show would be pure olives. Right, okay, let's move on to it. So we got the silver birch here. This year I noticed it's the first year I've got one of these little funny long flowers. I've got a, quite a few of them on this silver birch. Silver birch is super healthy. I mossed everything up two weeks ago to try and get the moss established. Then I realized the moss on this one here was flaking off and falling on the ground only two days ago. And I was like, what is going on? Why isn't the moss sticking? Realized that that whole line of uh, tripper system or misters had failed. And all the trees had dried out and this thing was drooping. Everything was drooping. And I realised, luckily it was a fairly cool week, but I realised the batteries had gone flat in the automatic controller. And I would hear water come on, but on the other two lines. And I got three lines, and the third line wouldn't come on, and I just figured, oh, well, I can hear stuff watering. 
and the mist is misting, so it must be all right. Never actually went out to check, never touched the pots to check, and that's what happened. So I've now put the moss back on, and I'm making sure the mist is working, put some new batteries in, and hopefully the moss sits there for the show, not too bad. So, we've got the silver birch here. I've been working on that for a long time. That was ground grown for four or five years and it's been in a pot for a long time since, probably another seven or eight years. Um, beautiful trunk on it, really nice roots. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. You're gonna see each one in more detail and I'm gonna do last few touches on them. Next one is the Deodora Cedar, still reasonably in development but just something different you know this front's probably there somewhere just a bit different it's got it's planted in a rock for starters and also you know just styled pretty cool like i say in early development it's got guide wires holding it everywhere um, we'll do a little bit of work to disguise two of these front guide wires maybe put them in the back. Apart from that, it's gonna to have to keep your guide wires because even though they've been on for a year, if I push on this branch, there's still a lot of force there on that guide wire and it's just gonna spring back up. So they're gonna to have to stay. I'm not gonna sacrifice the strength of a tree. I mean the shape of a tree or the strength for that matter. I don't wanna trim it back because the flush has only just happened. Some little bits are getting a bit long and leggy already, but the flush, flush of growth only happened. I'm not gonna cut it back just for the show and jeopardize the health of the tree. I'm gonna let it flush out for a bit and then cut it back. So it's just gonna be bad luck. It is what it is. Then we move on to this pomegranate, which I think is gonna be about perfect for the tree, for the tree, for the show, because it's got a decent amount of new growth but not so much that you can't see the structure of the tree. So you can still see all the twigginess and the structure, and I can even see a scale in there. Dead one, it was dead. Take my word for it. So it's perfect. It's got beautiful leaves this year. Normally when it pops out, the leaves are deformed, being eaten by, I don't know, thrips or aphids or, or something, who knows, I don't even know, or fungus, whatever. This year it's actually shot out the new leaves pretty good, so that's good. I've been fertilizing the heck out of everything. There you go, so pomegranate, cedar, deodora, silver birch, and the maluka that's outside. Tree pretty well done. Let's have a bit of a walk around it. That's what you guys think. There you go. Bit of fun. See what happens. See what it ends up looking like in the show, but there you go. Okay, guys, well, here we have the cedar. So, I've welded together a disc brake and a flywheel off my Kia Rio and off my mate Dong, his ute. We put some new uh, discs on, and that's his disc. This is my flywheel. And that's a CV off of a Hyundai Accent. And I'll put it all together. Now, I guess one thing I want to do for this tree today is probably hide the guide wires at the front a little bit. So to hide them, there's a screw in the back of the tree as well. I figure I've just screwed them straight into the tree, which is fine. Like I say, I've done this a year and a half ago, but branches still haven't set. I think mainly because last year they, it didn't have a good growing season because I overworked it. But this year it's having a good growing season, and that's why I'm not going to find you're not going to find me chopping it back at all um, for a fair.
fair while. I'm going to let the growth get quite long before I even think about chopping it back. So you can see the branches popped back that far. Negligible. Does it make a difference? You have a look. I think it would. I think that would make enough difference to warrant putting the wires back in, but at the back. And if that's what they sprung back now, by the time the show comes, they'll probably be up even further. So I figure what we'll do is we'll just swap it around to the back. Okay, and then I'll drop the screw at the back. And we're just going to have four guide wires going on the back. It's just how it's going to be. Until they set properly, it's just how it's going to be. Simple process of just putting a screw in with some guide wires wrapped around it. Very, very simple way of doing it. Is this tree going to be perfect for the show? No, but you know, it'll be a good learning experience for me to have some trees in a show for once, rather than just have them sitting around in my shed. And hopefully teach me a little bit about getting a tree ready for a show. And about displaying. But because I haven't been part of the club, as you can see, I'm not very orthodox and I've got a flywheel brake disc, a rock there. I do have an accent, so that's something. Now, I guess the only thing left to do is to weed some weeds at the top here. Obviously, I don't have a pot to clean. This uh, rock's got a lot of patina now, a lot of moss on it. It does have... A lot of liverwort on the back. I'm happy just to leave that for now because at least add some greeny, mossy looking stuff to the back of the rock. We'll see it. So, I guess the only question I've got for you guys now is it's going to be on there, it's going to be on the flywheel, but the accent plant. Now, this is pig face and it's actually flowering. I've got three flowers there. Another one on the back. Um, I guess the question is, that one, or is it too low? Another possibility, another possibility that I have is to put this log here. But either or it's going to change my other display which I'll explain later so I can put the log there like that as well now I'll put it on this side because that's the direction the tree is leaning that's the front of the tree so that's it you know pretty well good old log accent I mean the back of the log looks pretty cool too but it is what it is it looks fine from all angles there you go my log accent that I made. Go back and have a look at my accent. Having an accent in good time. So which one? That one? Or that one? Okay. That's it. That's that display. Let's get on to the next one. Welcome back. Well, I had a choice of my son's little tree or my smallest tree, which is a little elm. 
Haven't asked the sun yet, but I thought maybe I'll put that underneath the silver birch. And I might trim it out a bit. It's actually got some really nice structure in there. I might clean the inside out a bit and, and show a little bit of that structure for the show. I'm not going to take the moss off the pot. I really love all the moss and the white calcium buildup or whatever's on there. Um, I thought definitely I'll go with this little rock on this one because it just looks better contrast between the height of all that. Tree leans that way, so I'll put the bigger tree there, I guess, and then I'll put the um, smaller accent here. Okay. Now, what else do I got to do? Well, I've got to do a little bit of trimming. There's some dead stuff. I might get my bigger snips out. Go. Gonna get the bigger snips out and maybe do some bigger cuts where there's some dead stuff because you know birds do die back a little bit but not too bad. They don't die back too bad. So there's that one, the dead one at the back hanging down, so it doesn't matter, it was ugly anyway. See this one here? That one there is hanging down. It's got a small amount of live on it, okay? So it would probably shoot out and keep alive down there, but I don't think it's needed hanging down that, that deep, that low. So there goes that branch. See, completely dead, apart from one little live bit on it here. So that's that. Should I clean it up a bit? Probably. Do I care much? Not really. It'll be fine. Okay, uh, dead branch at the back that's hanging way out the back. There was a live bit coming out before that, so we've kept that and got rid of this bit. Um, another dead branch on the very inside of the canopy. But it actually tells a bit of a story and it's hiding a bit of a hole. So I'm going to leave a dead branch in there. One thing I will say about this tree is probably would have been best if it was shown one week earlier when the leaves were just coming out and you could see a lot of the branching. I feel like now it'd still be really good, but I feel like in another week it's going to be a complete green canopy and I may have to cut some of the bigger leaves off, leave some of the smaller ones. I don't really want to cut the spring growth yet. It's just not extended enough. So it might it might be slightly past its prime, but it'll be good enough. Now, I just got to extend the legs on this camera, so bear with me. Because the next operation I want to show you is down here. Okay. First of all, let's, well, okay, first of all, let's clean some beautiful roots up. There is some absolutely gorgeous roots in here, some moss here. Get rid of that moss. Some moss on the roots. So I just want to clean that off a bit. I don't want to go silly with it. I do. I don't mind a bit of moss on the bottom of the trunk, you know. I don't need to have my trunks completely clean. Let's do that. Clean that off. I may get there with a toothbrush and just clean it a little bit. Push some of this moss sideways off the root because there are some beautiful roots on the front of this tree. Another beautiful one there. Basically, I'm just pushing the moss, spreading it to make this root stand out because this here has an absolutely gorgeous root system on it. Hey, bud.
Oh, you're not going to say hi to Andy? Oh, Andy. Andy. Hello, Andy. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Panda. We're just cleaning up. Oh, Next thanks. to. Oh, thank you. We're just cleaning up the base of this um, tree. Hey, Seth, do you reckon I can use your little tree for my um, display in the show? I can put your tree in the show. Yep, sure. Then my tree will become famous. Nice. So you happy? Yep, I'm happy to do that. Now, okay. next question. Can I just clean it up just a little bit? And... As, as long as you're not going to cut back the bulk. I'm happy if you like cut off just the sides. I don't care if okay. you cut off the sides. And on the inside, just to clean the structure a little bit. A little bit. On the inside, let me see. I'll see what you want to do to the inside. Okay, are you sure? You can cut the out. Well, how about you can cut the outside? The inside? The outside, not much. Probably stay where it is. I'll just clean it up you a can bit. Well, clean up the outside. Inside, I don't know. You have to show me what you're doing first, okay? Okay. Andy, right. let's go hit that jump. We're gonna go hit the jump with the new lip on it. Ah. For the first time hitting it, and we're hitting it on a push bike, so. Really? If we don't come back, then it's fine. Broken leg? Yeah, oh. probably. Off the leg, off. And I mean, it's all that possible round in the month of the So I've pretty well cleaned off most of these roots. I'm gonna go through with a toothbrush later and clean them, but you'll get the idea of where these roots are. They are super gorgeous. And we want them to show for the show, but I don't wanna, also I don't wanna wreck the moss too much. But there's such good roots under here that we want to expose them. So I'll clean them, clean them off with a toothbrush because it does contrast. It doesn't contrast with the moss in the pot very much because the roots are actually like got a slimy green on them anyway. So you may not see them properly on the close up, but you'll get a good idea. And I'll also while I'm here, I'll just show you. So also it looks like we've got the go-ahead from the sun to do a bit of work on his. So you can see we've got this beautiful root in here. Another beautiful one here, here. One that sort of wraps around in here, goes two, direc two directions. Sort of not much in that section at the back. We've got a good one here. We've got one here. Another one outside here. And another one outside here, and then we get back around the front here. So we're cleaning off that moss, and then I'm going to scrub that a little bit, and then we get our beautiful root structure there hanging out. You can see it in person, camera is pretty hard. And then I've got my homemade rusty old steel here with a was meant to imitate a bit of a tank stand, but instead of a tank, it's got a tree on it. You can see that cut under there that I made, that big one, and died. Looking up into the tree, there's the silver birch. Beautiful tree. Even if it's only got 12 years of age to the tree, which is still a lot, it, um, it looks a lot older than that with all this bark and stuff. The bark, good bark's getting right up into the canopy now. So pretty cool tree. Silver birch. Okay, so we got one more thing to do, guys. And then this one's ready for the show. We're going to clean up Seth's little tree. Okay, I'll do that off camera. I'm just going to clean it off, show a bit of the branch structure. I'll show you underneath. It actually has some pretty cool structure under there which is all hidden because it's got it so damn healthy but there's a lot of branch structure underneath that and it's pretty cool 
as a tree on its own. It's still pretty cool. It's a cool tree. Okay. There we go. We got that done. That one's ready. Everything's all picked out. It's on the tank stand. Or rusty old stand that I welded together. Some rusty old tin. A little tree down there. And something there. So, you know, with all of these displays, give me a bit of a bit of an idea you know if you don't like something or you think something's a bit weird let me know but you know I'm trying to think outside the box and do something a bit different oh the accents on a saw blade as well by the way on a rusty old saw blade there you go that's that one thinking out the box not really a table on a table it's a tank stand on a table <laughs> okay guys one last thing I forgot to clean the pot I've used some oil spray on a rag a few days out from the show they say to do it a few days out from the show so that by the time the show comes it's lost that serious shine and it's just a low sheen so there you go clean the pot last thing to do is just to get a toothbrush out and clean the roots because not much contrast between the roots and the moss and I want to clean a bit of moss off the trunk still as well just make that really pop there's also a few spider webs up in the tree like up here I just got to get rid of them not because I care you know it's in a hollow nothing wrong with having some spider webs in a hollow just other people will freak out and you know they'll say i didn't clean my tree properly before the show not enough care was taken getting it ready so i will get rid of most of the spider webs and just clean the roots and then that one's done so it's pretty cool good old seal birch done Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we got the last tree, the pomegranate, and we're gonna do something completely stupid. And <laughs> I couldn't work out a weird stand, something different rather than just a normal stand. So I <laughs> put it on a cooker. Now I'm going to make sure the gas bottle's not in here so I don't get some clown at the show decide to cook the tree because it's probably bound to happen and anyway what I did is I just chucked it on here I wonder what that would look like as a stand chucked it on here and the pot fits absolutely perfect on the stand perfect beautiful so I thought what we could do is I'll clean that stand and I'll clean the pot I thought what we could do is just have a bit of fun so we've got the gas cooker the camp master which I'm going to clean a bit of lawn at the front and we're going to have the Sylvanians having a picnic sitting there having a picnic Looking out at the day, enjoying the sunshine and having a barbie because they just finished cooking themselves a barbie. And maybe, maybe, if I can find it. got a little cactus <laughs> put on their little table and they're sitting there enjoying a the day after they cooked up a feast and there we go Sylvanians chilling out cooking 
on the old camp master which will be the display table so all we got to do now is literally get a bit of paper towel put some oil on it now this this display unless someone's got any more ideas about a bit of fun having a bit of fun has to be orientated at fun and hopefully something that kids can look at unless someone's got some ideas on it we're not going to be sensible with this one this is pretty well set as what's going to happen with this display it's going to be a matter of cleaning this up and displaying it like this but if you've got any little cool ideas to add on to this display that's simple and easy because the display because the show's only a couple of days away four days away Oh, it's at the uh, Goodwood Community Centre in Adelaide. Anyone in Adelaide, get down there, make sure you check it out. I'll be there all weekend. Plenty of people will be there all weekend. Check the show out. 15th, 16th. Gold coin donation is all you need for the entry. Pretty cheap. Fun day out. Looking at Bonsai. So get your way down there. If you're thinking about it, stop thinking, start driving. So we're going to clean that up properly. I'm not going to bore you with cleaning up my camp cook master. Now I'm going to put a bit of oil on the pot. The pot has, this pot has serious amount of patina already. It's actually getting a lot of patina on this pot. And it doesn't go away. It gets this white, I don't know, sort of staining on this pot. And I love it. I reckon it suits it, suits the tree. And it's better than just a standard old boring single colour pot. And it looks like it's just going to get more and more white like this as time goes on. So I don't really need to clean it white because you can't really see the shine anyway. So I love this patina. So cook master, you can imagine the cook master nice and clean, all the knobs clean, similar colour, and then our little Sylvanians having a picnic underneath. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There you go, a bit of fun. It's going to be a fun display. I'll bring these guys in closer for that. And that's it. Sylvanians having a picnic, cook, camp master, pomegranate, which is probably perfect timing for this pomegranate. It's got beautiful roots, bit of a twist to the trunk. I'm going to also clean them roots up a little bit with a toothbrush and some water. And there you go. Something different. Why not? The old camp master. Loving it. Let me know what you think, good or bad, about all the displays. Malaluca, cedar, silver birch, and pomegranate. Four trees going in the show. Actually, a lot of work putting, a work, putting little displays together, but a lot of fun. So, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you get your butt to the show if you can. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.